Welcome to the North Ops Fire Weather Webcast for Tuesday, April 28, 2020. This morning's water vapor loop shows a high pressure ridge building over the west coast. A low pressure trough can be seen farther offshore. The visible loop shows mostly clear skies over California with marine stratus in coastal areas. Computer forecast model graphics for this afternoon show the high pressure ridge overhead with the low pressure trough farther offshore. Light north to northeast winds are expected in the typical areas from the western Cascade Sierra slopes to the coast range today. It'll be a warm and dry day, and temperatures in the interior breezy areas will be as much as 20 degrees above average. On Wednesday, the ridge will move off to the east, and the low-pressure trough will become our main weather influence. The trend will be for humidity and clouds to increase as temperatures cool. Temperatures will be near normal over the weekend. A disturbance within the southwesterly flow will pass over our northern areas and southern Oregon on Thursday. There's a chance of showers and thunderstorms in our northern and northeastern mountains on Wednesday afternoon, and a slight chance on Thursday as the disturbance moves through. Southwest to west winds will increase Wednesday and Thursday afternoons over the higher terrain, especially in the north and east. Peak gusts will be 25 to 35 miles an hour on Wednesday and 30 to 40 miles an hour on Thursday. The trough will still be overhead on Friday, but winds will be lighter. Skies will be partly cloudy. We'll see southwest to westerly winds increase again on Saturday as a deeper portion of the trough and main cold front approach. Light rain is possible in far northwestern California late on Saturday as the system nears. Rain, with snow above 5,000 feet, is expected over northern and eastern portions of the region Sunday as the frontal system moves through. Early next week we'll see a return to high pressure with a warming and drying trend. The North Ops 7-day fire potential product shows a low risk of significant fires. Dead and dormant fuels, especially in western and central areas, have dried out and initial attack has recently increased. But higher humidity with some wet, unsettled weather later this week and over the weekend will bring fire potential back down. The South Op 7-day product also shows little to no risk of significant fires, but there is an overall drying trend that is starting to show up toward the end of the period. Now the fire weather highlights for the North Ops region. With high pressure overhead, sunny and warm weather with light north to northeast winds can be expected today and temperatures will be up to 20 degrees above average. Low pressure will take over from Wednesday through Saturday, then move through the region on Sunday with rain and mountain snow. Showers and isolated thunderstorms are possible almost daily Wednesday through Saturday in the north and east, with gusty southwest to westerly winds over the higher terrain. Warmer and drier weather can be expected early next week. The next issuance of this product will be Friday, May 1st.